What's up, nerds? We're back with another video again today. It's been a little while since I've been on a consistent upload schedule. Uh, so I want to go ahead and apologize for that. Been busy, New Year, all leading up through Christmas, New Year, all that stuff. Uh, but a couple of things have happened on the channel since the last couple of videos I posted. One of which was we passed 500 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. You have no idea how much it means. That sounds like a small number, but it's huge to me. So I appreciate you guys. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Today I have the Hemo Goblin himself once again. Gabe, he is here, and we're gonna do some takedowns in this video. What we're gonna be working with is some um, uh, stuff off of the hip toss. We're gonna start in a hip toss situation, and we're gonna hit some options off of that. So the first is getting to the hip toss itself. So when we get to the hip toss, we're gonna start no gi variations here. Obviously, we're not in a, a gi, uh, but we're gonna start with our collar tie. And we're gonna start with the inside tie here against his collar tie. So you can see inside tie means I'm lap through. Outside would be here, right? So we are on the inside. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the club hand, I'm gonna pummel under the armpit on the far side, and we're gonna first go hip to hip. And I'll show you what that means. So hip to hip first, before we step through, before we try to get to the throw. So we're here, boom, boom. I can add a little snap if I have to. As I pummel this hand, when you pummel, it's a swim, and it starts with the elbow. Don't just start trying to fist yourself through the hole. Uh, <laughs> you're going to start, swim through, and as we swim, we're going to punch and pop, like I was saying, hip to hip. So here, pop, inside tie, you can get a little snap if you need to. As you do swim, pull everything tight, and look at how I, I pop uh, through hip to hip, standing next to him here. So we have this arm pulled through nice and tight. I have our hips in alignment here. And what we're gonna do is try to get the hip toss. So as we step through for the hip toss, boom, what we want is to get elevation and punch our underhook arm to get the throw and complete it. So again, we're collar tie with the inside. We're gonna swim, pummel for our underhook, snatch, come all the way hip to hip. As I step through, my hips change levels to get under his. I bump my hips up and I'm gonna punch my underhook. So here, I step, um, and punch, right? But that's the hip toss, and that's what we want. But when we go in, he's gonna be ready for it, and he's gonna counter. The way he's gonna counter is as soon as we pop through hip to hip, and we step in front, he is going to counter step in front of me. So we're gonna have to modify the throw. So as I pummel, I pop through hip to hip. We're gonna stay sort of facing you guys. I step, he steps, right? Now, if I take a setup step here with this foot, it lines me up perfect to attack this one with a foot sweep or a trip. So we have a couple of options here. We can kick to get his leg out from under him, or I can stomp at the heel and bring him over my leg. So I'm gonna kick in this example. So I'm here, I've stepped, he counter steps. I'm going to pull the hip, pinching my elbow to my side. My head is gonna drive up and into him, not past him. Uh, all at the same time, I keep control of the arm. I kick the leg out from under, we're gonna end up in side control. So I'm here, boom, I step, he steps. As I steer up, see how I mean, what I mean by don't let your head go past? So if you go here, you've lost everything. Use your head to steer. See how I'm already starting to get some, some bend in the back. I'm straightening him back this way. That's where we're going with the throw anyways. So as I lift and steer, I dump, I come through. Club, here, pommel, punch, step, he counter steps, dump. Pommel, hip to hip, step, counter step, dump. So now our next, we're gonna step through the same setup. As I come through and I go to block and dump, the trip's not gonna work for whatever reason. The trip's not gonna work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop, we're gonna finish anyways. So as I'm here, I step through, he counter steps, I try the trip, it doesn't work. I don't stop this motion. Once I'm committed to it, I'm gonna continue. But I'm gonna have to make some adjustments. So once I hit, boom, I'm gonna drop and snatch the hip as I punch the leg. I tried, I did not get the trip. So I'm keeping my elbow tight as I cut the hip here. As I drop this knee back and in, see how that's already bringing him down with me. I'm sort of pulling the hip through. As I do, I'm underhooking and punching the leg. I'm not punching all the way through with a straight arm. I'm just popping his leg out from under him. 
So I'm here, I try, it doesn't work. I switch to the leg, I push through, I finish the throw again anyways here. Sort of what this is teaching, not just the throws themselves or the takedowns themselves to get our two points, but also the idea of committing to an action. So if I'm coming through and I'm trying to set something up, I'm trying to hit a takedown, I want to get the two points, I want to get the early advantage, I want to land on the top. Sometimes as we're coming in though, our first initial setup, our first takedown does not work. And then people hesitate and they freeze, their throw gets countered. So if we learn, we keep the concept of staying committed to the takedown. It doesn't mean specifically the takedown we're in, it means staying committed to uh, actively attacking in the clinch, actively attacking the off balances, trying the foot sweeps, making it where they don't have time to sit, think, and counter your throw. So make sure you guys, when you go in there, commitment is the best way to get good at takedowns. Commit to the action. Watch wrestlers off of their shots, into their reshots, into their picks. Uh, they don't hit one and done. They go until the takedown is complete. If they have to disengage, they will. Uh, this is the concept that you need to have whenever you're working here. If you hesitate in the clinch, if you hesitate while you're tied up with your partner, they will counter or hit their own takedown. So keep that in your mind. Make sure you're thinking about it. Thanks for watching. As always, we appreciate it. Thank you. See you guys next time.